Welcome to another Electronics and More video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a high voltage probe like you see right here. This probe is rated around 20,000 volts and what the probe does, it allows you to measure very high voltages using a typical digital multimeter like you see here. Most digital meters will only allow you to measure up to 1,000 volts DC and 750 volts AC. Using the probe, you will be allowed to measure up to 20,000 volts or more, depending on the rating of the resistor which you choose for making your high voltage probe. If you use a 30 or 40 kV resistor, then you'll be able to test up to 30 or 40,000 volts, just as long as the plastic does not break down at those voltages. Now what I chose to use was this polystyrene pen. I cut off the end of the pen. Now polystyrene is a very hard, clear, but brittle plastic. This plastic is around 1.5 millimeters thick. The dielectric strength of polystyrene is well above 20,000 volts per millimeter. And the pen you see here is around 1.5 millimeters thick. So I could easily go 20 to 40,000 volts if I had to. You want to be sure that the plastic can handle the voltage level that you will be using. Rating is usually shown as volts per mil or kilovolts per millimeter. The probe is made using two different resistors. One is a high value, high voltage resistor. This is a 200 meg ohm resistor. It's an 8 watt. It measures around two and a half inches long and a little over a quarter of an inch in diameter. You're going to also need a half watt to one watt metal film which I prefer. You're also going to want to have a 1% tolerance on this resistor here, the 200K, as well as the 200 meg. You do not have to use a 200 meg ohm. You could use a 50 meg ohm. You could use two 50 meg ohm resistors in series, or you could use two 100 meg ohms in series. I just happen to have had a 200 meg ohm resistor laying around, and that's why I used it. To see what these resistors look like, not installed inside the pen, have a look at these images right here. What's very important, you're going to want to make sure the tolerance is around 1% to ensure accuracy of your readings. I'm not really picky. Mine is within around three, three and a half percent of the reading, which is just fine. If I wanted to ensure greater accuracy, I can adjust the 200K resistor value a little higher or a little lower to adjust the voltage being read by my digital meter. For the probe, I took an old digital multimeter probe like you see here, inserted it into the end of the pen, using E6000, which has excellent dielectric qualities. I glued that probe point into the end of the pen after it was soldered onto the high voltage resistor. The other end here, the wires are inserted and also glued in using E6000. This connection here will connect onto the positive of the digital meter, and the green one here goes to the negative of the meter. You're taking your high voltage reading from the probe, and this right here gets connected to ground. If you're measuring DC, this probe goes to negative, and this probe goes to positive. Once the high voltage resistor is soldered in series with the 200K ohm resistor, this red wire gets soldered at the junction between the two resistors, and the two black wires go to the end of the 200K ohm resistor. I'll be demonstrating in a minute on an AC line, a 9 volt battery, a rechargeable one, as well as a microwave oven transformer, which has an output around 2500 volts. When you measure the voltage using this probe, you turn the meter on, I'm going to put this to the 2 volt range. Everything that you're going to read is going to be 1 1,000th one of the voltage measured at the point right here. So if you're measuring 1,000 volts, you're going to see one volt displayed on the meter. So if it's AC voltage 1,000, you put this to AC, and you're going to see one volt AC. If this says five volts AC, 
you're going to know that's 5,000 volts being measured at the tip of the probe. If you're measuring the voltage of a 12 volt battery, a lead acid battery, which is around 12 and a half volts, you're going to see 0 0.012 on your meter. Let me demonstrate quickly using this little 9 volt rechargeable battery. Let's check the voltage first. It's around 8 and a quarter volts. It's a little undercharged. I'm going to take the meter and put it to a lower range, around 2 volts. Let's take the negative, connect it there, take the positive, connect it right here. When I measure the voltage, you should see 0 0.008 show up on the, on the readout. Let's take a look. There you go. All right, so you see how that works. Now I'm going to show you using AC volts. I'm going to take a 120 volt line and we're going to probe it to see what the reading is going to be. Because my meter has a 200 millivolt range and the voltage is under 200 volts, I could even switch it to that 200 millivolt range. When I connect this probe to the AC supply, whatever the reading shows in millivolts, that's going to be the actual voltage. Let's give it a quick try. So we're right around 115 volts AC. This line is around 119, so it is within a few percentage, maybe 3% off from what the AC value is, the actual value. As I stated earlier, I'm not looking for extremely high accuracy, even though I can make it more accurate if I want by adjusting the 200K resistor value here. To have that 114.9 read around 119.8, which my voltage is, what I would do with this resistor, the 200K, is actually increase the value slightly. Look for another 200K, that may be 202K or 205K. The one that's in here is 197K. For this last test, I'm going to be probing the high voltage output on a microwave oven transformer. Now keep in mind, this is rated 20,000 volts peak. All right, so if you're testing a 10,000 volt output, the peak on that 10,000 volt line is around 1.4 times higher than the 10,000 volts, which means 14,000 volts. We are now connected to the high voltage transformer in the microwave oven. Right here is the secondary high voltage output going into one terminal of the capacitor, and then you have the probe connected to the same terminal. Over here, the probe is connected to the chassis, and here I have the red going to the red probe, and I have the green going to the black probe. Set for AC volts, in this case it's on the 20 volt scale. Whatever the reading is, you're going to multiply it by 1000. Here we go. Yep, three places to the right, 2250. So as you can see, it works extremely well. This is a very useful probe for people working with high voltage experiments or just trying to test transformers to make sure they're working properly. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.